Hello everyone, it's an honor for me to be here. So, to start my speech, I'm going to show you guys a picture. I bet that every one of you have seen this in your daily lives. Yeah, the yellow area on the entrance and exit of the buses with the sign, no standing on it. Well, have you ever wondered why they put up such a sign on it? Well, I was confused as well as first, so I searched online, and the very first answer came out on our website. It told me that the area was designed to remind people not to rush into others while getting on and off the buses. And I bet many of you sitting here think the same way, right? But in fact, it was other important uses. And let's say we'll save the answer for later. And I'm going to share you my personal experience that inspired me in finding out this answer. So it would date back to the time when I was traveling in Austria. And by the time I got to Vienna, I made the decision that I would go around the city by buses. And that was a really wise choice for me because it reminded me of something really meaningful. So basically, I was waiting for a bus at a bus stop. There was a man in front of me sitting in his wheelchair alone. Apparently, he was waiting for his bus as well. And at that time, I started wondering that, how could he get on a bus by himself? I mean, there was no one around him seemed to be like his companion or sort. And I thought, if he need any help. And as the bus driver was approaching us, I saw the bus driver after opening the entrance door. He simply pressed the button on the bus and there was a slope just automatically stretched out from the entrance. And I saw the wheelchair man roll himself up to the bus by the slope. That was a really impressive thing for me because I have never seen things like that before back home in China. And then I started wondering that if there are similar equipments back home. Through more information online, I find out that this board I mentioned previously was actually a folded board designed for the disabled people to get on and off the buses. When you stretch it open, you create a slope for the people with disabilities to get on buses. And that's exactly why they put up the sign, no standing on it. And what surprised me more is that Chengdu is actually the first city in China to be equipped with such barrier-free devices. No, not many of you know this, apparently. However, in our daily lives, have you ever seen people with wheelchairs getting on buses by such barrier-free slope? Or have you ever seen people in wheelchairs or with disabilities waiting for buses on their own? I guess most of you would say no, right? Well, for me, I didn't even know there existed such barrier-free devices that help people get on buses. Even though I live in Chengdu all the time, and I almost take buses every day when I went to elementary school. So, why is that? As some comments I viewed on the internet, some people said that, same as me, they don't know there exists the use of the barrier-free slope. Or someone say that they don't know how to use it. And some even states that it is because of the lack of promotion that make few disabled people willing to go out. So I think it is time for us to make some changes in our communities. Well, starting to change the, the situation, there are some changes that already exist in our society. The core problem for us, as I mentioned previously, was the lack of promotion. And there are some trials made by people who are willing to change the situation better. For example, in Shanghai, 80% of the buses are equipped with the barrier-free devices. And there are volunteers on the buses and on the bus stops to help the people in wheelchairs to get on buses. There are also spots in community service centers where people could donate money or write suggestion letters. So I think this is a good example that can be operated in other cities in China. And also, this is a good point that we could start to change from. But on top of that, we need to do more. 
For example, for one thing, we could stick some signs and flowcharts onto the side of the buses to remind people the use of the barrier-free equipment. And for another thing, we could set up several press buttons or bus rope on the buses to help the disabled people or people in wheelchairs to notice and stop the driver when they need to take off. And in the beginning phases of operation, I suggest that arranging several volunteers on the buses or at bus stops to help people use those barrier-free equipment appropriately. So, a progress of a country is not only about its economy, its political status, its military strength, but also about changes in its essential infrastructure like barrier-free equipment, because that's what's strongly related to the Citizens' Happiness Index. So everyone, start to change right now, and that's how we can get into a shared future. Thank you.